jumping right into it here I am searing up my andouille sausage that we're gonna be using for this yummy gumbo on today and then let's jump into making my roux the roux is just basically flour and oil together and it's a lengthy process it took me 30 40 minutes to do this and the key to this roux this is your base of your gumbo, so you want to make sure you get this part correct. This is the foundational key component. Um, you want to put in a little bit at a time and just stir and stir. So I had one cup of flour and I started off only with a half a cup of oil. So you're going to see I'm going to eventually add some more butter. So you want to do an even apple for apple for so one cup of oil, one cup of flour when you're doing this. I found it to be a little bit too thick, and that's because I was lacking. I wasn't having enough oil. So I'm gonna stir, stir. It's gonna start off with this blonde color. What we're going for is like a dark, dark chocolate looking color. The deeper the color, the black of it, the more and more flavor you're gonna have. With it. And you have to continuously to keep stirring. That is key. So I already added my butter here. I did show it on the video, but that's how I got a nice consistency here. I'm going to start turning into like a paste. And I stir and stir and stir. And as you can see, it's getting darker and darker. This is about after 15, 20 minutes of stirring. And I just keep going. My feet was hurting. My <laughs> was hurting. And so, as you can see, I have that dark paste now. So I'm going to go ahead and add the Trinity, our bell pepper, onion, and celery. This is the holy Trinity for gumbo. Once you mix all those together, you're going to go ahead and add that flavor in, get that all sauteed. And I'm going to add in a little bit of garlic to it as well. Just going to mix all that together there. And then if you want to go ahead and season it a little bit early, I'll just hit it with a little bit of salt here. Stock. I was using seafood stock. You can use chicken um, broth, um, beef broth. Probably wouldn't recommend beef broth, but I know chicken and seafood are two most popular ones. So in this case, I did seafood stock. I'm just gonna stir all in. Then you're gonna let this simmer for about 35, 40 minutes. Add some bay leaves in there, and this is just really what's going to give it that flavor to let everything soak in together. Um, high medium heat, just kind of simmering there. Don't want it to be boiling too hot. So I'm just mixing everything together. Leave the top on. You can leave the top off as your preference, but I have the top on for about 35, 35 minutes. At about 35 minutes, I went ahead and threw my sausage in to let them join the party. It's that Andouille sausage. That's the right sausage, man, if you're trying to really get that Louisiana style gumbo. And then I go ahead and add in my shrimp. Started with the shrimp first because I'm using crab legs as well as crab meat, lump crab meat. So those don't take too long to cook. So I'm gonna add a little green onion in there, get a nice little pretty color as well. Mm, it's coming together y'all it's coming together now I use a seasoning kicking seasoning I can put it down in the notes and comments uh, but you can create your own seasoning um, if you desire to just to have that nice real New Orleans taste um, onion powder garlic powder cayenne pepper paprika black pepper uh, just to give you that spice that you're looking for not too spicy but Give me that flavor that you want. There's that lump crab meat. 
and we are headed towards the finish line. Mm. Mm -hmm. It smells amazing in here. Just look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Everything just coming together so nicely. It's time to plate up, y'all. That, my friends, is New Orleans Seafood Gumbo for you. All right, so I'm back. We did the whole thing, the gumbo. Now it's time for me to dive in, say no more. Look at that beautiful plate. Gotta get some of that rice, get some of that dually sausage. Mm. Flavor just smacked you in the mouth. Break bread with Arkham, subscribe. You gotta do it. I'm gonna keep smacking on this. You already know.